What's going on my fellow Jedi and Pedal Ones? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Now we have so, so, so much to cover because Destiny just dropped the crazy 30th anniversary pack on us. And there is so, so much to go over. We got loot, we got a dungeon, we got a six player activity. I am speechless, got me feeling like a little kid again. I can't get over all the stuff that they gave us. So first off, to go over our first video, cause we got plenty coming out this week. So expect a lot of videos on the channel here. We are gonna go over the Dare of Eternity six player activity that deals with Xur and that nice new space ethereal horse that gives us some crazy loot. Especially the halo weapons come from this activity as well as our marathon armor. So when you first load into the activity, which is now right below the moon, kind of looks like a black hole, the eternity space. You load into that and you go through this nice little portal that takes you to an area that looks like the old eternity map for people PvP, but it looks like it's on Europa as well. So you come into here, you wipe out some enemies, and the first thing you actually do is spin the wheel of enemies, as I'm gonna call it. Once this spins, it'll land on something. As you can see, we got Cabal for this round. So our main enemy in this first part was the Cabal. You can land on any of those, the Hive, Taken, Fallen, Vex. So once you start the activity though, it's just kind of like most of the other six man activities. It gives you a certain task whether it be like in this one, wipe a wave of enemies. There will be champions as well in here, so come prepared for that. But we were wiping waves of enemies in this one, and then the second part of it, we had to actually kill a certain enemy, and it dropped a bomb, and you threw a bomb at a shielded enemy, and it took down the shield. So there are a variety of different activities that this can give you, so just make sure you're reading what it says, and it does give you a good waypoint for when you need to kill a certain enemy, because that enemy will drop either like a a cannon that you shoot the shield off of something or in the bombs like you see here in the background gameplay now once you clear the first little part those first two activities just like i said most other bungee six player activities that climbs your little progress bar in your left corner of your screen and once you get to the desired goal or amount of points earned enemies wiped out you actually finish the activity and move on to the next part so you go through this nice little kind of jumping puzzle it's not really too crazy to get to the next part where we actually fight some more enemies and just like I said, it just depends on the activity. Sometimes it's just clearing waves of enemies. In this one, you can see it's kind of like the bomber back in the Forsaken campaign. So after the little obstacle course, we come into another area where it's just, again, doing certain tasks to progress your progress bar in the left-hand corner to please the space horse and Zer. So in this one, we are dealing with plates that we have to capture, like the bombs in the bomber back in the Forsaken campaign. You just stand on this, wipe out enemies. There is a lot of exploding shanks and actually the big old Brutus tanks that are fighting us as well. So it is a lot going on, but that was just one of the activities. And then it was basically just clear certain waves of enemies. And you just have to complete those certain different tasks that it tells you to, to progress on to the next part of the activity. So far, they've been taking about 10, 15 minutes, depending on the fire team and the actual activities that you have to do. So within these different activities, the first round and the second round, you saw those little purple spots on the ground that have different stats above them, whether it be your strength, intellect, mobility, stuff like that. Those are little power-ups that help you within the activities. When you go over them, it'll give you certain things based on the stats. So when you have the mobility stat, you jump a little higher, you move a little higher. When it's the intellect, you get your super back quite quickly. And then as well as the other stats, you know, your melee grenades, etc. So make sure when you see those purple things, those purple circles laying on the ground, go collect them and you will get whichever stat super super fast nice little mechanic of it so you can kind of make builds that tailor to certain aspects like a solar grenade more mine cells stuff like that and just get your super grenades back fast if it happens to be that power up now after you beat everything and you fill up your bar another choice comes from zero well, where he will give you different paths to choose your final enemy that you are facing sometimes it's taken sometimes it's hive but he gives you three different choices and everybody can stand on a different plate or the same plate and whoever gets it right 
gets the blessing of the space horse and in that final round it gives you a nice little buff just for you like in this one we actually got to face crota which was pretty cool takes you back to the good old days it's just reminiscing hence the 30th anniversary they're just playing back our old memories stuff like that throughout the games so this one was super cool but me and my homie right here got it right and we got crota so in this room we got super faster than our other four teammates because it was just me and him on the plate which is a nice cool little mechanic so in this final room like i said we are facing crota it'll be a different boss a different situation depending on which enemy gets chosen so there are a plethora a lot of different endings to this but it's basically the same thing there will be a certain boss like crota in this one and you just do whatever mechanic is needed to take down its shield and do its final dps in another one that i did i had a vex gigantic minotaur and you just had to defeat certain enemies to take down his shield once his shield dropped you could do dps and he threw those like red walls of death kind of like in the menagerie so it was very similar to that but in this one we had crota so you had to kill the knights get the swords from the knights and then start whacking crota and once he went on his knees then you could do a lot of dps on him but you had to have the swords so this thing is super interesting and at the end when you kill the bosses it actually gives you a chest zur and the horse pop up and it'll give you strange coins and then also a treasure key which you use to open the chest to get our actual loot for the 30th anniversary so once you got that key and you defeat the mission, actually, you head back into that same POI in the Eternity, but you go to Zer's treasure room. And within the treasure room, you can spend the key on that first little chest and it gives you a 30th anniversary weapon. So as you can see, I got a grenade launcher. I got the Halo BR. So there is going to be a bunch of different weapons that you can get out of this involving Halo, like the two swords as well. And then you also get an exotic quest for the Halo sidearm from Zur in this room as well. So once you level him up and do a few of these runs of the Dare of Eternity, you can stack up your keys and on the sides in the back, there are actually the sets of armor, the marathon sets of armor in the chests, which you have to be certain ranks with Zer, and then you have to have a certain amount of keys to open. So I know that that was a lot to go over and there is more to cover in this room. I will do a specific video on the different ways to get the loot in Zer's treasure room, but just wanted to cover it quickly here. So make sure to get to grinding and get this six man activity done and get your sweet, sweet Halo armor. Relive some of our best moments within Destiny. I absolutely love what they've done so far with this. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.